Hey, what's up, it's Hugo here. Some of you might know that a few months ago I made a video uh, on the plugin you can download for your Finder that added a bunch of extra features to your Finder, and it was called Total Finder, and I even made a giveaway on it, so some of you might actually have won a copy. Uh, although, if somebody else told me about this other uh, app slash plugin you can download called Extra Finder, and it pretty much has all the same core features as Total Finder has uh, a bunch of cool features you can add to your Finder. I'm gonna get to that in a second. Uh, but the only advantage about this one is that it's free. So for all you guys that might not have a method of payment or just don't want to pay for this kind of software, uh, you can go ahead and download this. This is 100% free. Uh, and that's why it definitely has an advantage over Total Finder. Um, so go ahead and download it from this page. Obviously, I will be leaving the link to this exact page uh, in the description below this video. So you can go ahead and check it out. And obviously, you know, why not since it's free? Uh, so let's go ahead and open it up here. It's in my menu bar. I'm going to go ahead and open up the preferences for it. And I'm going to quickly open up a finder window next to it. Try and make it rather small. But uh, here you go. So I got this is just a standard finder window. Uh, nothing special to it right now. The only thing I changed is obviously the column view, uh, which I like. Here are the uh, extra finder preferences. So first off, the first thing I personally always uh, enable are the tabs of course so you'll notice that when you enable features it does have to relaunch your finder uh, for it to take effect but there you go so uh, i got the tabs and these are obviously the core features and probably my favorite features because uh, you can just you know add as many tabs as you want drag them out uh, have them side by side or you can even have a dual panel mode stuff like that so these tabs really add a bunch of new features in my opinion and i honestly almost always have like four or five tabs open on my finder so uh great great feature then you have a bunch of other features uh there's a lot as you can see of, of features in this uh extra finder app i'm not going to go over all of them because they're pretty straightforward and it would make the video really long uh but i'm going to just go over the one the few uh of the features that i think are important and you know might be interesting um, so the first uh, thing is you can actually change the style of the tab. You can have your narrow tab bar, which just narrows uh, the top part of the finder window. So you can't grab them on, you can't grab the window on top of the tabs anymore. You have to do it at the side. I personally don't really like that, but you know, uh, some of you might, uh, like it. It's, uh, especially if you have a small screen resolution, it might help. Uh, a bit. You can also change the style of the tab to have it like the upper browser. So, oops, sorry about that. That's not my finder. Um, so there you have a different kind of tab, as you can see, kind of like straight down with some curves. That's kind of uh, like the opera browser or even the old Safari tabs. So uh, they kind of look similar to this as well. So uh, that really doesn't matter. That's purely uh, own preference, but I'm going to put it back to the standard Google Chrome ones. Uh, then you have the dual panel mode. You have a few options for that. If you want to automatically show the second sidebar, uh, even if you have this feature disabled, you can still show the second uh, second sidebar. Uh, the only difference is that you actually have to drag it out. So if you don't know what dual panel mode is, once again, I'll show it. It's just when you have two tabs open, you can just double click on the second one and then they will kind of merge as you can see. And then you'll have pretty much two finders in one single window, which is pretty cool. And, uh, if you just drag here, uh, as you can see from the center on to the right, it will just open up this sidebar uh, manually. So if you have this feature enabled, it will just do that uh, automatically as soon as you merge two tabs. So let me just merge two. As you can see, it automatically opens that sidebar. So that's something uh, that you might want to look into. Then uh, we have a bunch of shortcuts you can set. So obviously Command T and uh, is to create new tabs. That's pretty straightforward. It's the same shortcut for browsers as well. Uh, so you can just press that and it will automatically uh, open up tabs. Uh, Command W obviously is still the same. That's just to close tabs. Uh, then you have reopen close tabs. So if you have uh, a tab here that I have open and I go to a specific folder just to show you guys uh, probably some uh, proper example. If I close this tab now and I do uh, reopen close tab, you'll notice that it will open it up exactly where I left off. So that's pretty cool in case you accidentally close the tab and you have a bunch of other features here. Uh, then on the second tab of the preferences, you have the extra features that you can add. There's a lot of different things here. Uh, some of them are cool. I personally 
sometimes like to have this enabled press backspace to go back in folders I think that's pretty cool and you might also want to look into I'm just gonna close this real quick um, to give you guys a better example but uh, the light text on dark backgrounds if you enable that you can actually choose the color now I already messed uh, messed around this because by default it's uh, it's on black and white something like this yeah it's uh, white on black sorry uh, but obviously you can you know set these colors to whatever uh, floats your boat and uh, I personally don't really like changing the colors I think it's fine like this uh, a lot of different extra things you can uh, do here some of them I haven't tried out such as add extra finder functions to the toolbar I'm not sure what that does for example so there's a few things that I don't really know uh, about yet uh, but I'm sure there's obviously on their website they describe everything um, but some of them are really cool um, so I'm gonna not go over over all of these since they're pretty straightforward and uh, uh, so yeah that's it for the features then you have add items to finder menus now I think this is quite useful I use uh, two of them all the time uh, which is contents and open in new window so what this does is whichever you tick uh, here adds to uh, your uh, finder menu so for example when you right click on the folder it's going to add that so open a new window and open a new tab has been added as well as the contents right here so um, these three things have been added to my menus now the contents are quite useful when you're going through your applications and you don't want to right click it show package contents and then it opens a new thing and then you have to go through that uh, instead of, go, of doing all that you can just right click the application and go into contents right away see what's in there uh, quite useful I think uh, I quite like this one and then obviously the second one uh, which is the open in new window is rather uh, straightforward uh, you can just let's say uh, just right click on one and you can choose open a new window which will open a new window obviously or open in a new tab which obviously will open a new tab so that's quite good if you're in a folder and you want to quickly dual panel them you just open a new tab and then dual panel it and it goes really quickly so uh, yeah you have a few other things like new terminal here and uh, new finder here new terminal here can be quite useful if you want to uh, uh, instead of typing out the uh, the path of your folder uh, you can just go to the folder you want to have uh, in your terminal already set up and you can just do a new terminal here which is located here and it's going to open up your terminal exactly on uh, that folder right there so you won't have to type in the path of that folder and all that kind of stuff so that's pretty cool uh, if you use the terminal a lot uh, so it has quite a few features that can be quite useful depending on what you use uh, your Mac for uh, but overall very good application especially considering it's free I think it's a must-have for everybody I think especially the tabs just uh, are just such an awesome feature and uh, I think everybody should have this because it's so much better than having a ton of finder windows and then having to expose every time to go through them so uh, tabs are much much better so great great application be sure to check it out in the description totally free to download once again I'll thank you a lot for watching uh, hopefully uh, you guys find this video useful be sure to like it if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, I'll see you guys later peace